Hello there YouTube viewers. Today I'm going to show you an old weather alert radio. And it's completely different from the weather radios you see today. It's made by Gardner. Uh, this is it. I'll turn it on. Push it there first. Oh, you get a static. It doesn't work. It doesn't matter how I adjust the antenna. But it's made by Gardner. The full name for the company is called Gardner Barn Equipment and is actually, if I'm not mistaken, made in Horicon, Wisconsin, which is only about maybe 10 miles from here, about 10 miles east from where I live. Well, what's different about this radio compared to the newer NOAA weather radios that has the NOAA weather alert? Well, it has three buttons here. You have the weather, which I pushed earlier, and the test. I'll do that in just a little bit. And then the alert. So if you push weather and then push the alert, it will silently monitor the weather. And um, if there's bad weather, it will sound off a siren. And the siren is like a long, steady tone compared to like a Morse code type of beeps or tone on a NOAA weather radio that you probably are familiar with. The NOAA weather radio, what I have is a Midland. I'm sure some of you have seen them from other users on YouTube. I'm going to push this test button, prepare for allow noise. <coughs> So normally what normally what would happen when you hear that go off by itself shut it off you would push the weather button and then about maybe five seconds later after you push the button then it'll tell you what severe weather is going on such as tornado watch, tornado warning, severe storm watch or warning. Also another thing that's different about this on the bottom here I'll show you up by that middle part under the word um well, let me turn it around okay <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, um, there we go. Uh, I'll put this down here. Okay, where my finger is, this is the switch, and it has the three frequencies here. The top one is 162.550 megahertz, and that's the Madison weather office, I believe, and then the middle one is 162.475 megahertz and I think that's the Green Bay office and the bottom one 162.4 megahertz is the Milwaukee office with the new um, NOAA weather radio that has more than those three frequencies I got this unit probably about 1991-92 at a radio shack and I hardly used it at home until I got the NOAA weather radio. Uh, this one would go off every two minutes because um, the Midland one I have, you can program that to your county only or surrounding counties. Well, that's all for now. Bye.